I'm loving it. Every little helps. We're on the beach, guys. Good to see. Looks like there's a beach clear up going on today. Lovely old stuff. <laughs> yeah, they're uh, doing a beach clear. A bit of picking on the beach. Brilliant stuff. If every community got together and did that, <sighs> I'm gonna say the world would be a better place. Martello Tower on the right, I don't know if you can see that. So uh, that's now a coast watch. Been up there before, really nice people, volunteer as well, so you can't argue with that. I tell you what guys, looking at it, the tide's going in that way, pushing everything to the this far end. Um, which is not exposing a lot of beach actually. And high tide is about two hours away. So the tide will come right up, the tide will come right up to almost this wall. So I have not got long really. I'm on my bicycle, I've only got my spade. I've not got my big sand scoop, um, which was kindly sent to me by one of my subscribers. Gary, you know who you are, thank you. Really do appreciate that and I will use that probably more in the summer. I don't really like digging down into that uh, ice cold water. So I tend to do the top, top stuff in the winter months. See what's been brought up. All right, as you can see guys, I'm running out of promenade. There's not a lot left. So I'm probably gonna stop here and I'll start on this bay here. But first I've got to sort my bike out and unload all my gear. See you in a minute. You're probably still in a uh, wide angle, but there you go, I'm on the beach, I've made it, and detected it is all still there in one piece, exactly how I left it. So, bungee cord, works a treat on a bicycle. All right, let me get this unpacked and get swinging. Whoop, whoop. As you can see, guys, it's all off. Just a couple of bungee cords, that's all I had. And I'm set up, ready to go. Easy peasy. Right, I'm gonna start over here near them rocks and work my way left and go up and down a little bit. Work my way back up to here and have a cup of tea. Let's see what we get in this little bit. I'll spend about half an hour here. Wish me luck. Whoop, whoop. All right, first signal, guys. It's coming under the one cent section, just here. Showing two, whoop, four, two to four inches, look, well, four inches. Uh, and it's there. Let's give it a dig. Do the first dig live, see what we got. I think I just pulled it out, I can see it there guys. Yep. A rubbish bit of metal. Oh well, at least we know the machine's working. Let's keep going. I won't film live digs anymore guys, it's too cold for all that. I'll just film the what stuff I pull up, all right? You'll have to like it and lump it, because that's what I'm doing. Ha ha! Just thought I'd show you the waves, how beautiful that is, smashing on the rocks. Here we go. Here we go, let's get a big one in a minute. Look at the water coming up there, look. I don't know how well that's coming out on the camera, but it's beautiful. Beautiful, isn't it? Sorry about the wind, guys. Right, let's keep going. Just had a little dig on this next one. I've just pulled it up again. I've not used the pinpointer yet. Uh, third target, I had a bit of junk as well. And we found your common battery. Why do people leave them on the beach? Not acceptable, guys. Let's keep going. Hey, guys, we have a bit of a problem. My um, arm cup that I had fixed with a screw, like it was suggested, and I can now see there is the thread in there, but it's snapped. The actual bit that slots inside there has snapped off, so what the hell's happened there, I've no idea, so I'm not best pleased. But I always come prepared in this magic bag of mine. I've got some tape. So I'm going to get that tape out and I'm going to stick this back together and it'll do for now just so I can carry on detecting. Always be so prepared. In my magic bag of tricks, I have gaffer tape, look. 
some lovely duct tape. That'll do the job. Don't ask me why I've got it in my bag. It's just this stuff is handy for all sorts of stuff. So I always take it with me everywhere I go because you never know when you're going to need it. And look, I happen to actually need it. It's the first time I've actually been out and needed it. But look, it'll do as a quick fix. I'm not very best pleased with this at the moment, you guys. Not happy at all. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm going to have to put it on there. Oh, my days. This is not practical at all, is it? <laughs> That'll do. It's like nothing ever happened. <laughs> It'll do for now, just so I can carry on detecting. Because the last thing I want to do is have to go home because of a arm cups fell off. Well, actually, it's broke off this time, so not happy. But look, we can carry on. Good thinking, Ben. Well done. It came in handy. I advise everyone to take out duct tape with them. Normally, guys, you've probably seen from my videos, I've even got a video on, uh, this is my little tip, this is, but I always put this on here. Um, it's just easy to get to, rather than having it clipped to my belt. But because this is broken off, um, I had some trouble with it lately, and I? So as it's broken off, I'm not going to put this on there and add the extra weight to it, because it's, it's duct taped. So I'm going to put it on the traditional method and have it on me trousers. Anyway, uh, there's not a lot on this bit, guys. I've done all this area here, a couple of targets, all rubbish so i'm going to move on to oh no maybe i won't move over there i might get stuck no there's steps around the other side so i'm going to go over there and walk through and do that other section over there and we'll see what happens no i lied i'm going to go that way i'm going to go that way guys i don't want to go back that way because i've got to go that way to get home so i'll head that way um, and do that next bay up there wish me luck Right guys, I've moved on to the next bit now. Do you know what? The detecting gods are not smiling down on me at the moment, are they? Do you know what? I think they should. The effort I'm going to. I'm biking, man. I'm biking. Why is no one playing ball? It's not fair. Why is no one happy with the way I'm doing things? Why can't the detecting gods just be happy with the way I'm swinging at the moment? I'm out exercising. Fresh air. Not polluting the air with a car. And they go and break me arm cup. Cheers, God. Let's keep going. Guys, I'm just testing this out. Look, I can swing. It's fine. It's fine. It's, uh, it's good. It will hold. In fact, that duct tape is probably going to be hold it better than the glue and screw that it was uh, made with. You can't argue with duct tape, guys. It fixes everything. Right, I'm going to try this bit. Oh, we've got some company. Pull right, this out of there, guys. I don't know what it is. Bit of broken metal, but look. Oh, it's not bendy, it's quite, but look, that's sharp. That could seriously injure someone. So I'm glad I've picked that up. Let's keep going. Right, guys, I'm gonna stop for a cup of tea. Oh, turn my machine off. Eh, oh, dear. Let's spin you around and have a little chat, yeah. All right, guys. I've stopped for a cup of tea, I'm absolutely shattered. Um, very, very foggy, misty in the air, you know? Um, I feel drizzle in the rain. That's another thing I forgot today, actually, is my rain cover for the, um, the control box. Um, you notice there, I've got no rain cover on it, um, which is a bit of a stupid thing to do, but I have got like um, some bags and stuff in my bag, so if it gets too bad, I can, uh, I can always wrap it up. But really, I should cover it up. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna cover it up before I carry on, because uh, you've got all the moisture in the air, and last thing you want is um, damp getting in the control box and ruining all the uh, circuit board and whatnot so we don't want that um, but look at the state of that arm cut look at it I can't believe that but I've just been swinging on this section here been here for about 20 minutes up and down there's not a lot happening I've dug oh I don't know about 12 holes and they've all been junk um, normally I don't dig the signals but there's not a lot happening so I'm digging whatever and there's not a lot to show guys so won't be a lot in this video because I'm only going to go and do 
on the other side of them rocks there and then I'm going to call it a day I think because um, it's damp, it's cold, it's miserable, it's horrible but basically I've showed you a demonstration though of uh, how easy it is to get um, you know detecting set up on the uh, on the bicycle it's quite easy um, and don't go start saying to me that I've broke my arm cut because of the method that I'm using it's not that at all um, it's just it's it's old now it's had its day it's been battered around too much and it's just decided to give up and it's snapped so um, yeah not good so I'll have to have a look and see how much these arm cut replacements are I don't think they're a lot a few quid I should imagine I'll contact Garrett and see if I can get hold of anything or maybe something cheaper on eBay or something but um, I ain't too fast. I mean, look at that. Duct tape all the way. You could probably make a whole machine out of duct tape. <laughs> I love the stuff. It holds everything. Um, gorilla tape. So that's another good one, isn't it? Um, anyway, I'm going to have a cup of tea, roll myself a ciggy, and I'm going to get over there and have a little go and uh, see if we can find something. Hopefully, fingers crossed, there'll be something decent in this video. Uh, right, see you in a minute. What, what? Well, I'm enjoying my cup of tea and my ciggy. I just thought I'd show you the, uh, the sights, guys. It's, um, it's quite noisy with the waves, but it's very, very relaxing. Yeah, it's damp and it's a bit wet, you know, but it's not that cold. When you're moving about up and down with a detector, you've got a bit of a sweat going on anyway. It's, um, it's lovely. Just look at this view, this mist in the air with the sun trying to break through over there. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at that sun beaming down on the sea over there. You probably can't get it very well on the camera, but uh, in real life, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. One of my favourite places is the, uh, the seafront, or the sea in general, or any, anywhere water related really. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Anyway, that's enough of that soppy stuff. I just thought I'd share that with you. <laughs> Get back to detecting. Got to put the old gloveys on, keep warm guys. I'll tell you what's not good, is all this moving around when you've got the bike. That's one thing that's not great. When you come in a car, it's fine because you park your car, you walk about and do what you want to do. Ugh. But when you bring a bike and you want to keep moving around, you've got to keep taking it with you. Unless you do what I forgot to do, and that is bring a lock so you can lock it up somewhere. I'm just, a, it's just, everything's going wrong, guys. I don't know what's going on. Nothing is working for me anymore. It's like, it's like, everything's against me. I just want to cry. Anyway, I'm going to move up to the next spot. I have 20 minutes up there. Oh, here we go. Go around this side. Right. All right, let's move up here. Now what? Oh, bungee cord stuck in the tyre now. Trust me, guys, this is a good way of going detecting on your bike, but it's a lot of hassle. But anyway, look how quick that tide's coming in, guys. Tide's coming in really quick. Uh, I'm going to go where that dog is up there, if you can see it. Uh, I'm going to leave my bike against that where that them rocks where that dog is and uh, I'll have a little swing around that area there I'll be about 15 more minutes or so hopefully I'll find something if not such as life eh at least I got out and uh, showed you guys how easy it is <laughs> on a bike <laughs> um, I've got no choice guys my car's off the road so I'm going to be doing this for quite a while um, I'll get used to it it wouldn't be so bad if it weren't such, such horrible weather but what do you expect in November? Almost December. Anyway, I'm almost there. I'll see you at the first find, guys. On that bit over there. Got to be quick, guys. The tide's coming in. Still in there. Ah, ah, 20p, 20p, almost got wet for 20p. Ah. Well, it's better than nothing. Oh, that was close, that was close. All right, guys, I'm calling it a day now. Um, I found that 20p just down there. I've had a quick swing over there and there's a couple of ring pulls and I found a pound coin, another pound coin. Uh, I didn't film it unfortunately, I don't know why. Um, I just forgot to press the record button. <laughs> but there you go, I found a pound, a 20p over there, a pound over there and some ring pulls and stuff. So there's not a lot in this video guys, 
but um, yeah, what can you say? It's uh, a miserable day for me. Everything went wrong. But um, better luck next time, Ben, eh? Fingers crossed that I have a better hunt um, next time I come out. Right, got to put all this back on me bike now. Easy it shouldn't take two minutes. Uh, sorry there wasn't a lot in that video, guys. Um, if the fines aren't there, the fines aren't there. I can't do nothing about that. So uh, I'm going to bike home. Until the next time, guys, stay safe, good luck, and happy hunting all. Whoop, whoop. At the beginning of the video, you heard me go, wee down the hill. And now, I'm buggered. <laughs>